All right, in this demonstration, we're going to take a look at how you can add advanced searching from inside a binary large objects. Specifically, uh, we're going to focus in on PDFs, docs uh, today. So here we see that we have a table. Uh, the table is called resume. The table has a blob column uh, where we're going to store our resumes themselves. And we've uploaded four resumes here. You can see the mime types, one word, three PDFs. So first of all, to get started to enable this, one of the things you're going to really need to, to check up front, and you may have to go to your admin, is to look at your autonomous database. And make sure uh, that you have one privilege. It's called the CTX app privilege granted to your user. Uh, in our particular case, uh, our Apex schema that we're using today uh, has a database user. The schema name is called Search Demo. And we can see that if we go over here, um, that we have been granted the CTX app role. All right, so if that's in place, you're good to go with the rest of the demo. If not, ask your DBA uh, to grant it to you. Uh, so to get started today, uh, the first thing we're going to do is go into the SQL workshop. Um, and I'm going to build an index. All right, so we're going to create an index called uh, Search My Docs. The index will be on the resume table with the blob column. And to search through uh, the documents, PDF and .doc, among others, uh, we're going to set it to the CTX sys auto filter uh, and, and look at the MIME type uh, when we create the index. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, sometimes, depending on how much data is in there, this will take a second or two to run. Um, in this case, it was pretty quick. So if I go back now to our SQL uh, and look at our object browser here, you can see that we not only have a resume table, but we have a number of other tables that have been created now um, as well to hold the index data. Um, so next, where I'll show you some sample queries uh, with some of the advanced searches you can do, and we'll end on kind of an uh, Apex app uh, where you're searching through the documents. Um, so for starters, uh, the first thing we can do uh, is leverage the contain clause right here, and we can say, hey, show me all the resumes currently uh, in our table that contain the word Java. Now, when you run this query, you'll notice a couple things. You'll come back, uh, not only with the titles or submitted by or whatever other columns you have in the table, but it'll also give you a score. So in this case, the resume, chip resume, has a score of 10 uh, when looking for the word Java. But that's not the only type of search you can do uh, in, in the tool. It's pretty cool. There's some other advanced searches here. So now we're going to search uh, for all the documents that have a the keyword Java with a score greater than 10 and contain the word NASCAR. So let's see if that exists. I think it'll exist in my resume. There we go. There we go. So uh, a couple more syntaxes before we get to the application. Uh, up here, we can see now we're going to do a proximity search. Um, so this is going to say, show me all the rev resumes that contain both the word Eloqua uh, or the word Eloqua near the word code. So let's take a look at now, the reason I'm showing you all these queries is because the syntax is a little bit important, right? Um, especially as you start forming uh, your application. Uh, let's look at one more. All right, so this one's pretty cool. So show me uh, all the resumes that have the word development near the word creativity within five words. There we go. All right, so, so this is the baseline. Now what's cool about this is that in Apex, right, you can go ahead and you can create an app. Um, and depending on the type of searches you want to enable, uh, you can really enhance your application itself. So let's go ahead and I'll run this app. Uh, here's our core app uh, on the page. We Right now we're showing everything, but I can come over here and, and execute the same searches that I did before. Show me everything that contains Java. And I can even show you some that we didn't look at. So let to say we wanted to do a STEM search. So show me all the documents that contain the word work, where work is a part of the STEM. So this would include things like workflow uh, or other items like that. And in this case, we can see it. So let's go ahead and download this document and just make sure that it's the word work exists inside of there. Yep, you can see work, worked. Um, are both present, so it, it pulled it out. 
All right, another one that's kind of cool is it's something called a sound X search. So it could be like, hey, sounds like, kind of, uh, when it's said out loud. In this case, we're going to look for everything that sounds like Ava. And this particular resume has it. Um, we did, in this particular case, build in uh, the proximity as well. So development within five words of creativity. There we go. So uh, it gives you a feel of, of what you can do. It's a very powerful uh, piece of the engine. Uh, now, one thing that I do want to show you is that, uh, that, that I had to learn at first is that when we do upload a new resume, so right now uh, we have a new resume. This is actually Tom's resume here, and Tom has the word dimensional modeling in, in his resume. So let's just go back uh, and upload this particular resume. I hit create. All right, so now it's uploaded. I'll go ahead and just search it. So in this case, we're bringing everything back, but if I search on the word, you know, dimensional modeling here, nothing will be returned. You'd be like, oh, Chip, you created that index, man. What's going on? It should be there. Well, um, when you add documents, and you'll have to decide which best, um, you do need to rebuild your indexes over time, okay? Uh, and there's a couple ways you can do it. This is the core syntax. It's going to rebuild uh, the My Search Docs index in five uh, meg chunks in memory. So I can simply go back here, SQL Workshop, go ahead and run it. Uh, once it rebuilds the index, if I search in the word dimensional modeling, you'll see Tom's resume will come right back for me. So uh, you'll have to keep, you know, decide what your, your refresh interval is for your company. But, but that's a quick look uh, at how you can enable for te full text search um, on binary large objects like Word docs and PDFs.